Well folks, welcome back to the workshop. Today we've got a different one today. An Erbauer. Getting more and more of these on now. What have we got? Ah. Fair enough. An Erbauer SD Estral. It's actually a nice wee unit. Brushless motor as well. Four settings, four modes. We can obviously see what's wrong with it. Right. The drill's working. Obviously. The chuck's falling apart. Right. And we have butts missing. That's not good. Right, Erbauer tools, as good as they may be, they definitely do the job and they're definitely a good price. But you can't get any spare parts for them. Most certainly not a replacement chuck. So, let's see what the damage is. I have a few pieces here, but obviously there's a couple of bits missing. One being the actual steel ball for holding in the butt. That shouldn't be too big a problem. SDS drills. No matter if it's a cordless one or a corded one, it's always a 7mm steel ball. That's whether it's one or two balls as well. The holder, the cap, spring, and the sleeve. The actual ball holder is very, very similar to the Bosch. Very similar. Now, I've never actually worked on one of these before, and I've never worked on one of the chucks before. So the question is, what else is missing? The ball's missing anyway, and I suppose the clip for the top's missing. There'll have to be some sort of pin or clip for holding this chuck together. Actually, no. I tell a lie. There it is there. It's still inside the cap. Well, we can see why it fell apart anyway. Look at the state of that. That's just an external C-clip. But a C-clip is meant to be hardened spring steel. I can just bend that with my hand. That's just mild steel there. No wonder this thing fell apart. Herbauer just needs to fit a better C-clip to that. And that would get rid of that problem. We need a new one of them anyway. And we're also going to need a steel ring for here. Because that ball, the sweet plastic boy, holds the ball on the drill. But it's the ball that holds the butt and the drill. And obviously, with that hammer and you pulling and banging on the butt, it was only this here plastic holder holding the ball and would just break through it. So there has to be a big steel washer over the top of this to actually pin the ball in the lock position. So that's missing. But this is looking well similar to a Bosch. I wonder if a Bosch one would fit. A Bosch also do an 18 volt brushless SDS drill. Quite similar to this. Obviously not the same but similar. That is the repair kit number for the Bosch. And I would guess this will fit the Surbauer. That's the C-clip for holding the cap on. It's not an actual circlip one, but it's definitely spring steel that's the seven mil steel ball cap actually or the sleeve it's actually totally different so that might not fit plus the cap's not the same well not totally dissimilar springs a little different this is the part we want to see. Yeah, there we go. 
that is the exact same part. Not identical, but very, very similar. So that will work with us. Right enough, yep. Yeah. We're also missing that for this one. Because whenever that ball is sitting in there, and this is over the top, that ball can just drop out. Must be a washer or a plate underneath to hold that in. So we need this as well. Obviously that fits. We'll actually just replace that as well. And we'll need that to hold it on. That washer is still in place. It's sitting down in there. Don't need that. I think that will get us out. More curious now to know what this actual whole chuck fit. Let's just see if the Bosch one will fit. Just do a complete swap. No. So that sleeve's no good. So the sleeve itself is too deep. She won't actually press down unless you were to cut off the bottom of it or something. But that's not going to work. And if that doesn't work, yeah, that might work. But we'll just stick to the original. that one out since as as we have this one which is heavier again put that on and finally then a C clip to hold it together Tell us not gonna work. Yeah, not enough travel. Spring's the problem. There's too many turns in the spring itself. Plus this one's narrower on the bottom. Should have spotted that. This here fits over the top of that lip. So this one's sitting too far on, keeping everything too high up. So we're gonna have to change this. So we're gonna have to keep the original spring. thing is don't lose this because I don't have another one yeah massive difference so springs no good 
the sleeve nor the cap. Everything else should work. I hope. Second time lucky now. Yeah, it feels better already. Keep the original cap too. No. Look at that. It's nice and solid. Comes out easy. That's our sorted. That's her. One herb hour drill fixed up again with Bosch parts. Now, this one I did put up because I was looking up the price online. That part number with Bosch appears to be obsolete. This is for an older 2000 model drill, a corded version. The kit you actually want is this one here. That's the number there for the Bosch 18 volt brushless machine, just like this. That's the exact same kit, just the different sleeve all the other bits are the exact same so if you have an herb hour drill and you want to fix it up after a chuck falls apart in it go online and order that part there from Bosch or wherever site you can get it from the only part you don't need is the sleeve the spring and the cap everything else is compatible it will fix your herb hour drill up no problem that kit there cost about 12 or 13 euro let me know in the comment section, is it worth it? Would you do it? Would you chance it yourself if it broke? Let me know in the comments down below. I reckon a 12 euro is definitely worth it. This drill body only online at the minute appears to be about 160 quid. So for me, I'd definitely say it's worth it if you can't get the parts for herb hour. Anyway folks, thanks for watching. Give us a wee like and a follow if you're enjoying the videos. Cheers.